Um, we found with our cell size, uh, how you lay out the cells can have a big impact on your trample to graze ratio and therefore affecting the goals that you have for a particular piece of land. Um, Here's one way where you can have a long narrow cell where you open up the entire fence and have the cows move into the next cell. When they do move in that way, the cows are moving in kind of a wide line and they just they spend more time eating. Um, so you're gonna have a higher graze and a lower trample. And then you just continue on down there. With us uh, doing the bat latches and having a gate in there, we effectively changed the direction of those cells and now they're long and narrow cells. And now those cows move in there and they graze back and forth. They're a little bit more competitive and they're gonna trample more grass than they eat on a percentage basis. So once again, it comes back to your land management uh, goals for a particular piece. And on some of these cells, those individual cells are one acre or less. So we could change it as we went. Um, when we were training the cattle, uh, to mob grazing, the first thing was training them to electric fence. We did some of this with custom grazing cattle that had never seen electric fence. Uh, the, the electric fence training was, was kind of the first part anyway. And then training for the mob grazing, it, was, it took about a week. And the biggest thing was training them to go around the corner because you'd have a group of cows that would be heading in this direction and the other group of cows would be going this way to get to the gate and the tail enders would be, just be all kind of confused. So that made things frustrating from time to time, but really moving the cattle, they would learn that, uh, uh, they'd learn what the bat latch sounded like, they'd learn that when I came out there it was time to move and they were ready to go.